<laughs> so wheat, barley, dates and salt were used as money. There are some people who are going to be offended about this. And they would want to quarrel with the Prophet You see these people have more knowledge than the Prophet. How, why are you using dates as money? How archaic, how backward. <laughs> Leave them in their ignorance. Don't bother to argue with such people. Don't, just leave them and move. So let's get back to our subject and get rid of these people. Cumbersome people. So now we know that money in Islam, money in Islam is either precious metals, gold and silver, or commodities of food consumption which are in abundant supply in the market which have a shelf life and so if you are in the, the Indonesian island of Java and you are you are in your market and you want to use the Sunnah money in your market and there is a shortage of gold and silver coins you would use rice as money in that market and if you were in the Caribbean island of Cuba and of course you are all aware that Fidel Castro no longer smokes cigars eh? and you want to restore the Sunna money you would use not tobacco no no you would use sugar as money forget about these people who sneer at you and laugh at you and say that is so backward we don't want to hear your voice get out Get out, we don't want you in our company. How do we proceed from here? In addition to this being money in the Quran, and sorry, in the Sunnah, we know something else about it. That in every instance, the money which is in the Sunnah is money which has value, which resides in the money. That value can fluctuate. We are not dumb dumbs. You don't have to lecture to us. That value can fluctuate, of course. But at all times, the value resides in the money, not in some bank in Lower Manhattan. No. And thirdly, the value of the money is a value bestowed to it by Allah who alone creates wealth from nothing 